you and Jalen both being from Alabama. Mm -hmm. He said he was a little bit familiar with you when he was in high school. Did yes. you know much about him? Um, yeah, this is what actually I was just talking about. Um, Jalen is a, a year younger than me, and um, he played in Birmingham, which is like, I want to say like 45 minutes from me. But yeah, we're very familiar with each other's game. I mean, Jalen played at uh, Gardendale High School. It's, like I said, not too far, and they they have great competition there. So we always been knowing each other, even on the AAU circuit as well. Did, did you talk to him much, like during the portal process when you um, were in Yes, actually, I had got in touch with him a little bit, and a um, couple of our old friends, like I said, from AAU, had got us in touch. And you know, talking to Jalen, he helped me, like you know, become a boomer somewhere even more. So he's a, he's a great character and he's a great leader. So I really respect. Him. I'm sure you've already been asked about this, but just what, what's it been like since you got here and just acclimating to this new team and a lot of new faces? Uh, actually, it's kind of it's kind of different because, you know, it's, it's people from all over, around the world, you know. You never know how guys might be. And the best thing I think about is this team, we all are selfish and we all love each other. So you can't get a better connection with this, with this brotherhood here. What was it about Porter and OU that made it attractive? Um, um, intentional. You know, you're going to hear Coach say that word a lot this year. Uh, he was intentional about the recruiting process, what type of guys he want in the locker room, and how hard we're going to play. So, you know, every every guy around is a high character guy. You know, we pick each other up, but we're going to be dogs and we're going to work hard. So, you know, at the end of the day, I want to be around somewhere that can further my career, but actually, you know, teach me how to be a man as well. So, that was a good decision. Some of the guys talk about hunger. Um, mm -hmm. The returning guys, they first team out last year. You got a couple guys that have been in tournament, others that have you know, won regular season conference titles but didn't make the tournament. What does that do to kind of bring you guys together and just kind of work toward that goal? Um, actually, it, like you said, that hunger, it just make you put a chip on your shoulder. I, mean, I was one of the guys who won the regular season and didn't make it to the tournament. So all the pain these guys felt, you know, I actually feel it too. So with having that hunger, that chip on your shoulder, it just, you know, Coming in every day competing and letting let, you know, everyone know that you mean business and this year, you know, we're not going to be out. We're going to be in the tournament. So, What do you see from Jeremiah Fears since he got uh, I see a lot of improvement. Like I said, coming from, coming from you know, high school, making that transition to the senior year, is, is, is like unbelievable. Like, you know, especially him coming in and like translating to the game very well. You know, as, as a 17-year-old, I can say he, he's a very special talent. Dane, oh Dane as well. Like, they they might be a well, they same age, right? I think they they a year year older. Um, yeah, they great. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, but have, even Kowal as well. Dane Kowal and Jeremiah, the three freshmen. Those guys are like immaculate. Like those type of guys, you always want to be around. They work hard. They're gonna push you because they they all they're eager and hunger to get better. So. You know, by me being older, I'm going to teach them the ways, but, you know, I'm going to be that big brother and put, put on them too as well. So, I, I know not everybody can make that, you know, reclassification and jump mm -hmm. like Jeremiah is doing. What is it about his game that makes you confident that he's he's ready for this right now? It's confidence. It's, it's confidence more. It's like skyrocketed through the roof. You know, and more and more he practiced with us and, you know, have the older guys that have his back. His confidence shoots through the roof. And, you know, you have the confidence. You have people who believe in you. You know, you can play at the highest level no matter how, what age or how old are you.